if some of your garden plants are struggling and have some curled and mutated leaves, you may be dealing with a case of herbicide contamination. There are several classes of broadleaf herbicides that can be brought into your garden through manure or hay or grass clippings. These broadleaf herbicides affect many garden plants, but tomatoes and potatoes and beans are especially sensitive. They won't impact corn as corn is a grass. If you're concerned that you may have herbicide contamination in a section of your garden, the best thing to do is to plant some indicator species. So beans grow quickly and will very quickly indicate if you have herbicide contamination. If you do have a large area that's contaminated, growing corn for a few years may be your best option. Keep in mind that the corn will take up the herbicide but will not be affected by it, and so remove the corn to prevent recontamination of the soil with the herbicides. The best way to prevent residual herbicides in the garden is to be very careful what you bring in. If you're using grass clippings, make sure they're from a lawn that has not been sprayed with a broadleaf herbicide to kill dandelions or been treated with a weed and feed product. Gardening in Wyoming can be challenging, so don't make it any harder on yourself by bringing in questionable or contaminated sources of organic matter. If you have questions about the different types of herbicides and their levels of persistence, contact your local county extension educator. From the University of Wyoming Extension, I'm Caitlin Youngquist, and you're watching From the Ground Up.